Right now, though, on Saturday night, Ant and Dec announced the lineup for I'm a Celebrity, South Africa. You all survived the Australian jungle, but this is a whole new ball game. I can do this. The rules are the rules. They've been broken. I could kill it. What is going on? Another day in paradise. Well, one of the stars that we saw there is Paul Burrell, and he joins me now. Paul, always good to see you. And finally, finally we can say, yes, you are absolutely yes. going to be in this special. And, of course, the last time you were in I'm a Celeb, was it, two th was it 2004? Was it that long ago? It was. Yes, ah. it was 20 years ago, Lorraine. Crikey. I was a very different person then. Um, look at me, a lot thinner, a lot younger. <laughs> I, was, I was married then um, with a wife and uh, my two kids. And this time going into the jungle, 20 years later, I'm married again to my husband, Graham. And uh, <laughs> so I'm a very different person. I found it a very liberating experience and one where I could be myself. I didn't have to look over my shoulder anymore. Mm. And I met some lovely, lovely people. This is a great cast. And those lovely people have stood beside me through my recent trials and I had a fabulous time. You are going to love it. I'm looking forward to it. I really am. But of course, as we know, for, for shows like this, you have to do a medical. And it was when you were doing that medical, because you had no symptoms at all. It was when you were doing that medical nope. that you, you, you got your, well, they thought something wasn't quite right. You were still able to do the show, of course, but they, yes. they sort of thought something wasn't quite right. So really that show helped to save your life. Oh, that show? I'm a celebrity, literally saved my life because I went for the medical. They, they found a raised PSA level. I went to my GP and I said to him, am I still able to do the show? And he said, look, this can wait until you get back. And when you get back, we'll, we'll continue with the investigation. So when I got back, um, then I had an MRI scan. Then I had um, a biopsy. And then they told me I had cancer. And then I had to go on the the path of treatment and it's a roller coaster of emotion and you, you just don't know what's going to happen to you next I'm, I'm combining that with hormone therapy which doesn't help so I get hot sweats and um, I'm very emotional um, and very tired yeah so it's a it's a tough experience to go through but I'm getting through it. You are getting through it. And I know one of the things that you were so absolutely dedicated about was the fact that you don't want this to happen to anyone else. You want to spread the word. You want to spread awareness, which is why we've been following your treatment. And here we can see how you've been getting on. So today's the day. It's almost six o'clock in the morning and um, it's time for me to go to the hospital to have my operation. Coop can't come with me because of the radiation. So I'm gonna do this bit by myself. The brachiotherapy procedure will place low dose radioactive seeds in my prostate, hopefully to treat the cancer. I'm very nervous. I'm really nervous about this. And I know it's like going to the dentist and it'll be over very soon, but it's a life-changing thing that's happening to me this morning. I'm now in the recovery room. My procedure took two hours. And now I don't know what I was worried about because I didn't feel a thing. I'm here to meet Professor Noel Clark, consultant urological surgeon at the Christie. I want to find out more about the cutting edge treatment being developed for prostate cancer. So, Professor Clark, do you feel positive in the advance of treatment of prostate cancer in the United Kingdom? Oh, I'm very positive about it. I think we've made huge uh, advances um, over the last um, 20 years and certainly uh, even the last 10 years where there's been differences in the way we diagnose, the way we understand the disease um, and the way we treat advanced disease. As well as the surgery, I need daily radiotherapy. So I've come to the Christie a state-of-the-art centre with cutting-edge equipment. Hello. Okay. I'm here again. Oh, eight o'clock tomorrow? Yes. Oh, I think they're ready for you. Thank you. Thank you. With 15 sessions in total, I'll be coming here five days a week for three weeks. 
So what we're going to do is we'll get you to take a seat on the bed here and we'll lie you down. We'll then raise the machine up and get you in the position for the radiotherapy treatment. Once we've got you in the right position for the treatment, we then leave the room and we do a quick cone beam CT scan where we look at the anatomy within your pelvis, check we're happy with everything and then we deliver the radiotherapy treatment itself. With my modesty covered, I lie patiently as they operate the machine and administer the radiotherapy. It's unlike anything I've experienced before. I have to remember that this is about saving my life. Paul, that was remarkable and I think absolutely brilliant of you to show that. You know, it's very it's actually very reassuring for anybody who's going through this or who might be who might be worried, which is exactly what you wanted to do. It is the rain. I want to go out to all your viewers, all those lovely ladies out there, and tell them. Tell your husband to go for a PSA test. Tell your lover to go for a PSA test, your son, your brother, because it could help save their lives too. And I am so grateful to ITV for picking me to do The Jungle, because without that, I would still be sat here today, not knowing that I had cancer growing inside me. Yeah. So my journey is a happy one. It is, you know, and I love your attitude as well. And I know it's tough, but you're doing really, really well. Um, and I know your husband, Graham, and, and your boys have been so supportive and you've had a lot of support from the public as well. Um, so we're just wishing uh -huh. you all the best. How are you feeling in yourself right now? I'm tired, Lorraine. Yeah. I'm very tired. I've got five more sessions of radiotherapy to go. Um, I, I'm very mm. emotional, as you can see. Mm. Um, but I'm looking forward to getting to the end of it and then I can go on a little break with Graham and we can just be thankful that it's been found. And in a few months time, I'll find out whether it's clear or not. And then I get on with the rest of my life. Exactly. And there's a lot to live for. There certainly is. Listen, thank you. We'll obviously continue to follow you um, as you go through this treatment, just demystifying it, I think, for everyone, which is terribly important. We're sending you loads of love, loads of love and thanks. And um, and we can watch you We can watch you in the jungle as well, which is well, the South African jungle, but we can watch you there too. Paul, thank you. Thank you so much. You'll have a, you'll have a good laugh, <laughs> I promise you. <laughs> I can't wait. I can't wait. Thank you very much.